tell you this. You know, in, in the beginning of when I started to work uh, to pray for people and do the work of God, there's something that God told me. Can I tell you? I'm sure this will help you and will also help the ones that God will use in the future. You hear me? God will help even those that He wants to what? He want to use in the future. You know, in your journey with God, don't cry to pray for people. You hear that? Don't cry to, to pray for people. Cry to know the one who created people. You, you hear that? If you cry to know the one who created people, he will tell you about these people. You know, one of the reasons why God cannot speak with us is because we cry to pray for people. But we are not crying to know the one who created these people. You hear what I'm saying to you? Huh? If you cry to know the one who created these people, it will be easy for you to receive from God. Because the people that we are crying to pray for, we don't know them. Huh? And for you to know these people, where must you go? To the roots. The one who created them. You know, come here, sir. Come here. Let me show you. Come here. Look at these people. Look at them. Are they not strangers to you? They're strangers. They're strangers, isn't it? Now, for you to know them, you have to go to the one who created them. You hear that? And therefore, God will tell you, there's someone like this. There's someone like this. If you want to know about people, don't rush to lay your hands. Don't even cry for it. You can go sit down. Don't even cry. Cry to know the one who created this lady. He will tell you something about this lady. I don't know if you are hearing what I'm saying to you. How many of you are hearing what I'm saying to you? Huh? Huh? You are hearing it? Yeah. If you are hearing it, happens for Jesus. Because, you know, many of us, we, are, we cry to lay hands on people. But do you know them? People are somehow, I'm telling you, and people are spirits. Don't cry for it. Tell your neighbor, don't cry for it. Go to the one who created them. He will tell you about the same people he has created. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm sure you are hearing me. Amen. Huh? Amen. There's the beginning of everything which is God. Right now, we just want to do things when God is not there. You know, we cry for everything. We see a pastor praying for people who also wish to be. No. Start with God first. Start there. And God, who has given you the, the grace to do his work, he will tell you about the same people he has called you for. Amen. When I started to pray for people, God taught me this thing. He said, no, 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 no. Don't... don't Cry to pray for people. Cry to know me. Me, they are God. And you see, if you know me, they are God, the roots of everything. Me, they are God, the roots of everything. It will be easy to know them. You know, one of the reasons why we, people lay hands without knowing what is happening is because they rush to do that. They don't want God to tell them who are these people. They go and know God. Cry to know God. And if you do it, God will bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Because you are the roots of everything. 
Today I present your children to you. And those that were given something, I pray that it must manifest today. Those that are given spiritual gifts, yes, there's a delay on them. I release you today in the name of Jesus. Let that gift be released now. You gift, I release you. I release you. I release you in the name of Jesus. Because there are people here that they've got massive gifts from God. And they've been hidden. Today, I pray that gift must be released. I can't hear your amen. Amen. I said that gift must be released. I shake your heart. I shake your feet. I shake your head. Massive gifts. A gift that nothing will be a surprise to you. You know, when people are surprised, you will just relax and say, but I know about this thing. You are about to know everything. I say, you are about to know everything in the name of Jesus. I can't hear your amen. Amen. I can't hear your amen. Amen. From tonight, some of you here, you are going to see visions when you are sleeping. It will happen every day, every day. You sleep, a vision come. You sleep, another vision come. You sleep. Some people here, they will start to see visions when they are sitting down. Because we are given different. I say you are given different. I see a different gift on you. I speak to that gift. I say, hey, you must manifest now in the name of Jesus. The devil has delayed you to manifest. I say, hey, manifest now, 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 now. The devil has been delayed. No more delay in the name of Jesus. No more delay in the name of Jesus. I remove the scales of your eyes. I say today, those eyes, they must bend, 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 bend. I speak fire to those eyes. I speak fire to those eyes. I say, hey, you case of Satan, I remove you in the name of Jesus. I remove you in the name of Jesus. I remove you in the name of Jesus. Some of you here, you are about to know the secrets of heaven. Because I see you visiting there and coming back. I say, you shall visit and come back. Other people, they will read about heaven on books. But you, I see a special grace on you. That angels will be commanded in your name to come and collect you. I see a spirit of God coming to your bed tonight. I hear the spirit of God say, we are here to take you. We are here to take you. We are here to take you. Because some people, they think heaven is just, you know, a a place that is not there. Heaven is real.
Heaven is, tell your neighbor, heaven is real. Jesus is real. And why I'm feeling many of you that you are carrying things at the back here. I remove that spirit. Something at the back, I remove it. They have placed something on your shoulders here going, I remove you. You demon, I remove you. I remove you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen.